In this pro bike check, we're going to take a look at Julian Absalon's BMC and it's a four stroke zero on it. So it's a full suspension bike and it's got 100 mm of travel front and rear. Let's kick off by having a look at the details in the frame. So Julian's actually riding a medium sized frame. It's a full carbon frame set. You can actually see the carbon weave on that linkage and that's pretty cool as well. I like that extra detail. It's 29 inch wheels, both front and rear. It's got hundred millimeters of travel via that Fox suspension and that's an electric shock, but we'll get onto that a little bit later on. Drivetrain is supplied by Shimano and Julian's actually in that DI2 Shimano XTR group set. So it's an electronic rear derailleur. And then let's have a look at his cassette. So it's actually just an 11 tooth to 40 tooth and that's the XTR one as well. So it's really lightweight. It's got a carbon spider and also titanium rings. Came up to the front, if we look at his cranks, the length of them are 175 millimeters and the chain ring size is a 34 tooth. It's all finished off with a set of Shimano XTR pedals. He's also actually just using a little top guide as well. You can see that carbon weave and that matches in nicely with the link on the suspension. Let's take a look at the cockpit that Julian's using. So I'm coming up to the bars, and they're actually 700 millimeters in width. The stem is also a 3T like the bars, and it's 90 millimeters in length, with a minus six degree rise. Grips are supplied by Lizard Skin, and they're a foam push-on grip as well. You've got Shimano XTR race brakes. They've got a carbon lever blade. You've also got your Shimano DI2 electronic shifter. And you're probably wondering what this little box on the handlebars is for. Well, that's actually the computer for the DI2 system and the electronic suspension and lockout that Julian's using plugs into that and all works off the same computer and battery. Julian's also running a dropper post. It's a KS1. It's just got a tiny little drop, but it really feels that that makes a huge difference in the descent where he really felt he was losing time to Nino Schurter. He's been working a lot with his brother, Remy Absalon, who rides for the Scott Enduro team just to pick up and ensure that he's got everything absolutely dialed. Suspension, both front and rear, is handled by Fox. You've got the float shock on the rear with that Evol can as well. That's gonna give you a little bit more sensitivity. And this box, that's actually the control for the electronic suspension that's actuated from his bars. Same with the fork, that little box here that you're seeing, that controls the lockout. You've got rebound adjust, it's an air fork, and the fork itself is a Fox factory I see in that orange color for the Olympic Games in Rio later this year. Julian's BMC is a 29-inch wheel bike, so the wheels are actually Shimano XTR. It's got a set of carbon rims and it's actually got bladed spokes as well. Other neat touches are as name it is on the wheel as well. Tires are supplied by Continental. They're the Race King, 2.2 inches in width, and he's got a set of 160 millimeter disc rotors, both front and rear, and they're the Ice Tech ones. The bike's finished off with his name on the top tube, the French flag, and also a KS lev seat post, and then you've got your physique carbon railed saddle. Thanks for letting us check out your bike, Julian. Just a couple of questions about it. How do you feel that the dropper posts assist you in the descents? I use the systems uh, since this, wi this winter. It very much it's helped me to, to be faster and also it's really fun to ride. Uh, you, can, you can ride really different with this. So I don't know if it's uh, more performance. Yeah. But I had a more, more, really more fun on the bike, so I will keep it now all time. I guess you're one of the lucky riders to use that Fox suspension and the electronic, keeping it really nice. How often do you use it? Do you use it in the course a lot? And does it really give you maximum amount of efficiency? Of course, I use it always, maybe each turn. Yeah. I uh, lock and I unlock uh, the, the suspension. I also often use the trail mode, yeah. uh, especially in the climbs. When it's a little bit bumpy, it's uh, nice to have a, a, a suspension, but not totally open. So uh, I use it maybe more than the shifters, the speed shifters. So thanks to Julian for letting us check out his BMC. I've got to say it's one super nice cross-country bike, lots of neat features on it. If you want to watch some more videos on GMBN, why don't you click just up there to get to a full pro bike playlist. And if you click down there, you're going to get to what is cross-country. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the globe, and you get a great video every day of the week. And the best part is it's free.